Where am I, you might ask? This is the Uentis Mountains. Let me put that back on. In the middle of Utah, and we're going to a place called Christmas Meadows, which is just insanely beautiful. It's a snow dream winter one land, and we have to go through Wyoming to come here because the pass is all snowed under from, from Salt Lake. That is the end of the road right, right over there, and you cannot get past, it's all snowed under. So you need to snowmobile in about five kilometers up to the cabin, but now we've got to layer up because it is freezing. It gets like minus 20 degrees Celsius here at night. So we're being a little bit cheapskate. We need more than one snowmobile, but they're so expensive. So we're hiring one and then towing all the kids in. <laughs> Welcome to Christmas Meadows, one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's deep in the Rocky Mountains, technically whew, the Uentis Mountains. My friend Jacob here has his family have a cabin and we've just been snowmobiled. How long is it to get in here from the from the car? Six miles. Six miles. Gotta pack everything in the cabin. Go back and fetch your ladies. Daddy, I'm gonna have dinner. Okay, go boy. Let me see you walk. Go. Go boy. So you gotta pump air into that and then it pumps the organ and you play. This thing must be ages old. So let me give you a little bit of background about this cabin because it's really important that you understand how awesome this place really is. This cabin was built like a couple of generations ago. Uh, it's been, it, it collapsed at one stage because of the weight of the snow and it's been rebuilt and it's been in the family for a long, long time. And all the furniture in here are like pioneer furniture, like from the 1800s and it just, it's so beautiful, like old desks and organ pianos and it really is beautiful. And the setting, the setting is out of this world, crazy beautiful. But you know what the best thing about this is? The quietness of the surroundings because the snow dampens all the sound. It's really pretty. <laughs> it's too deep here for you, buddy. Whew. The snow is like up to my thighs, just about a stone's throw away from the cabin is a river and in the river there's beavers but of course it's winter so they're hibernating but you can actually come and see the beavers dead. See all the sticks sticking out so there's a bunch of beavers and they're sleeping right now. It is about midnight and it is freezing and I had to come outside here to show you the temperature. There's a little temperature gauge here. Oh it's around the side of the cabin here. There it is, there it is. That, my friends, is a solid minus four, minus five degrees Fahrenheit. You do the math on how cold that is in Celsius. Good morning. What a beautiful morning. It's slightly snowing, and today's plan of action is just have some fun in the snowmobiles and head on back in, really. <laughs> You want to go home? Why do you want to go home? Because I'm hungry.
because we only have one snowmobile, in fact, this is even one we had to trade in, we've got a one seat instead of a two seater. We have to like trail everyone through. What's wrong, boy? Tell the camera. Uh, my, my toesies will, will get cold. Your toesies will get cold? Yeah. We are done. You went to this mountain? Oh, beautiful. So unique for a South African to come here and experience this type of thing. Especially considering we were so used to hot weather, you know? Utah is such a beautiful place. Summit's got everything. Winter's got everything. Utah's got everything. <laughs> <laughs> 